Welcome to Nintendo Switch Kira with me, Master so this week's news and some impressions on the Switch and Legend of Zelda. The main bit of news this past week was the indie showcase. I'm not going to go into much detail of that because there's already a video up on the channel about that. And apart from that, this week we found out Rive is coming to the Switch. It was originally planned for the Wii U and various consoles. Wii U version is not coming, but it's now coming to Switch. It will have an expansion pass, unlike the PS4 version and stuff like that. And also, Street Ultra Street Fighter 2 was confirmed to be coming in May it will be getting a physical release and it will be roughly £40 or $40 has been confirmed and uh, price for that so it seems a tad expensive for that but what do you think also people have been data mining the Legend of Zelda and they found three more amiibos for the anniversary that, that is for Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword so yeah so it looks like we're getting some more 30th anniversary amiibo they are clearly they are compatible with the Legend of Zelda on the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. I was going to bring you some footage of the Zelda of my playthrough, but I'm having a few issues with my um, capture device, so you're just going to have to do some screenshots, unfortunately, from my game. Uh, yeah, so I've been playing Zelda, which obviously was the big launch title. Um, so far, so good. Um, can't really tell much about it about it without going into um, spoiler territory. But so far I've done a few of the story missions, a couple of side quests, running around. Um, I realised I've made a sort of mistake, so I'm heading to these um, towers, which you see in my uh, footage. Um, yeah, so I've been playing that, played it for about 6-7 hours straight. Um, playing in um, TV mode with the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is really nice. Um, really recommend picking one of them up if you, if you can, can get one. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Played uh, some Shovel Knight as well on the Switch in um, handheld mode. So that was quite good. It really suits um, the handheld um, mode of the system, game like Shovel Knight. But yeah, um, how have you been getting on with launch? What, few, what games have you been enjoying that's come out on launch? Obviously, there's a lot of them. Um, yeah, um, so that's it for this week. We'll see you again. There should be more um, videos going up in the future. Hopefully, if I can get my capture device sorted, I will be getting um, some game capture. I was hoping to do some live streaming as well, but unfortunately, that is currently an issue. Things like unboxings and that, that they will still come. They are easy to record, like like this video via webcam. But apart from that, that's all for this week.